Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Matilda and I'm going to be ruining my face for your entertainment today. <laughs> okay, but all jokes aside, today's video I'm going to be doing my makeup with just my hands. Just my hands, guys. But before I continue, I just want to wish you guys a happy, happy, happy new year. This is my first video of 2021 and I'm so glad that you guys came to 2021 with me. I really appreciate all the love and support from you guys and I hope you guys continue and keep growing and all of that. So, today's video, I'm going to be doing my makeup with just my hands. So, there's this trend going on by a girl called Meredith the Boxery. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but she has been blowing up on TikTok and Instagram because of the way she applies her makeup. She uses her hands to apply a foundation. She applies a lot of foundation. So this trend has been going on everywhere. Like everybody has been buzzing about how she does her makeup and everybody has been recreating the way she does it. Even me, I'm not even gonna lie. But I thought to myself, why don't I do a full face of makeup with just my hands? But the truth of the matter is, I'm not gonna come and act like I don't do my makeup with my hands, like this is the first time I'm doing it. No, it's actually not the first time. When I first started doing makeup, I didn't know what brushes were. Who knew what, 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 what are brushes? Who had the money to buy brushes? So my hands are what I actually used to do my makeup like ages ago so it's not a new thing to me I use my hands to apply my makeup and at that time the amount of makeup i used then is not what i use now i was just doing simple light makeup with foundation powder and just light but now my makeup game has improved i've upgraded i do highlights contour foundation powder like i do everything so today i'm gonna be trying it out with my fingers and i want to see will i be able to do it you guys think i'll be able to do it but i can't continue this video without giving a shout out to sandra deluxe so the deluxe has been doing her makeup with her hands for years now like she's still doing it till now i don't know I'm, I'm sure she's still doing it i've not watched her recent videos but she has been doing it for a while so it is not actually new in this industry i don't think meredith was the one that first started it this whole foundation with hands because sandra actually does her makeup with her hands like she does her foundation and her concealer with her hands and her makeup looks good like this one is not just lighting and her makeup looks good with her hands she uses it to go out and that's just how she does her makeup she doesn't use beauty blender she uses her hands so it's nothing new to her so guys let's get into this video first things first let's go on to the foundation i'm gonna be using my new one beauty in my skin foundation and let's get it let's get it get it get it okay so what should i do i think i'm gonna put the foundation on my face because normally if i'm using a brush or a bit blender i would put the foundation on my face so i'm not cheating right oops no <laughs> i ain't gonna do that <laughs> i'm gonna apply moisturizer first because if i apply foundation before moisturizer i'm just going to play myself because it's just going to be so dry and hmm no 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 i ain't gonna do that so let's go into the pixie beauty retinol jasmine lotion tree so ugly now because it's finished i've used the hell out of this so this is not going to be hard because you know we normally apply from a uh, moisturizer with normally apply moisturizer with our hands so this is nothing new it's gonna rub it into my skin I applied a little bit more moisturizer than I would normally apply because this is hands we're talking about. I don't know how well it's going to blend it, so I think it's always nice to for the face to be moisturized enough because if it starts giving patches, we won't like that. So moisturizer is going to help with that. Okay, we're moisturized now. We can get on with the video. Now I'm just gonna apply this foundation on my face. Oh, on Instagram, I actually did the the challenge by Meredith on my Instagram and TikTok where I actually used a lot of foundation. And guys, when I did it, it actually looked good. I thought it wasn't going to look good in real life, but it looked good in real life. Like, it had so much coverage. And maybe it actually looks good on her when she does it. Because people always say that 
um she's just doing that thing just so that the public will be like oh my god like that kind of shock factor but she doesn't actually use that type of makeup in real life but i did it with so much foundation you can check it out on instagram and it's actually really good just i took a lot of time to be blending foundation right now i'm looking at this and um maybe i might need more foundation though because when i did this with a lot of foundation i'm seeing that it looks better then than it's looking now or is it just like using my hands you're just giving this skin like look not actually bad i remember when i used to do foundation with my hands guys <laughs> That time I didn't know what beauty blenders were. I didn't know what brushes. I think I knew what brushes were, but I just couldn't afford to buy brushes. They were not accessible. Like it wasn't very easy to find good makeup then. So I used to use my hands to do my makeup, <laughs> and I used to use Mary Kay foundation. And Mary Kay foundation, you know, is very thick and very matte and dry. So hmm, I really wish I could remember how my makeup looked then in terms of the finish because then i really thought the makeup was banging so i would like to see it now with my upgraded eyes to see if it will actually look good or it's just going to be patchy oh guys can you see this is like my skin but better don't tell me you don't see it like it looks good it looks good wow I think it's because I put moisturizer on top because I don't know how it would have been if I didn't put moisturizer. And for concealer, I'm not, am I cheating by applying? No, I'm not. I don't think I'm cheating. This is not the brush, right? I'm not cheating. I'm just using it up of this. So I'm not cheating. Time to blend. This is actually blending out really good. It's just melting into the skin and it's actually not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Um, when I used to use my hands to do my foundation and my makeup, I did not used to do concealer. That time, it was not really a thing to use concealer. I didn't even know what concealer was. So this is actually the first time I'm trying it out. So this is how the face looks blended out um i'm not really feeling the finger application and when i did the foundation i actually liked it and i was actually saying that hmm, maybe i should actually be using my hands to do my foundation because it actually look good but this concealer could it be because of my nails but the inner corners are just not doing it for me so i'm just gonna move on to the contour i'm gonna be using liquid contour tap a bit and just is this a bit this is my black opal stick foundation by the way so guys if you are still here please subscribe to my channel don't just be watching my videos without subscribing guys if not you're not gonna know when i post a new video even though i post every sunday i don't have a specific time so you might miss my post and you don't even know that i miss you missed it so please try to please subscribe and like this video so i know that you actually like the video so i know that i'm not just making a video for making sake like people actually like what i'm making so please subscribe and comment below you also comment below what videos you guys want for me this 2021 you guys want vlogs makeup tutorial makeup challenges recreating people's makeup looks following makeup tutorials there's a lot just tell me guys <laughs> this contour i don't think this contour is working i really don't think it is but let's just hope it's just not blending out the way i would like it it's just blending all over the place but is going all right okay i think i'm satisfied with this honestly i feel like as this challenge is progressing it's getting harder i feel like the foundation was actually the easiest part of this challenge now i'm moving on to the brows i'm going to be using my brow pomade which i normally do 
use and um, I'm just going to be applying it on my finger nail and whew, I'm going to use one finger to brush the hairs up <laughs> guys this is the part I'm going to look like a clown. This is the part where I ruin my face to entertain you. So, um, oh, maybe I should have shaved my brows before I started this makeup. Maybe it would have been easier. But, oh. Not my best brows. <laughs> That was actually easier than I thought it was gonna be. Although it's like the literally ugliest brows in the history of brows, but I did it. I drew my brows on it. It doesn't have to look good. It doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't have to look good. At least I drew brows, right? Right? Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking, should I apply concealer? Because if I apply concealer, I might actually ruin this brow. But I feel like if I don't apply concealer, I'm cheating. But sometimes I actually don't apply concealer on my brows if I'm in a rush. So what do you guys think? Should I apply concealer or should I just apply like this? Let's try. It's a challenge. We gotta try. You know? See, I don't think my hands will be able to reach my brows with these nails. Maybe if I didn't do my nails, it would have been easier, but it just isn't reaching my brow <laughs> we're not gonna put we're not gonna put concealer no 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 need it's not even reaching well we tried we attempted but it's just not reaching the brow now my fault guys it's about to get tricky it's really about to get tricky guys i'm about to do powder now i'm gonna be using my flawless iv setting powder Oh, 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 it's about to be tricky. <laughs> How am I gonna do this? I have no freaking idea. My eyes are already starting to crease, so let me just try to fill it up a bit. Oh my god, oh my god. I told you guys, it just keeps getting harder and harder. Like, as the day goes by, it just keeps getting harder. So, I'm just going to tap on the powder. Ooh and hmm. <laughs> mm -mm. it's not working it looks horrible oh my god so now that i have packed on the powder on my face what i'm just going to do is i'm just going to smoothen it in it's blending can you see it? It's literally blended right in front of our eyes. Guys, this challenge, I'm not going to cheat. Sometimes I feel like some beauty gurus, when they do their challenges, they cheat. <laughs> I'm not calling any names, but I feel like maybe sometimes they, they, they have extra help to make their makeup look good at the end. But I'm not going to do that, guys. I don't mind looking botched at the end. I don't mind looking horrible at the end. It's just for fun. I'm always gonna clean it off. So I'm not gonna cheat. My brushes are actually wet. I actually washed them. So I can't even cheat. Okay, okay. Time to contour. I'm gonna be using my Zikel Cosmetics Mattifying Powder Palette. And I'm gonna be using this shade right here. I don't wanna go too dark because Who's gonna blend it if I go dark? Like, you know when you use a dark a dark color, you can always blend it out with your brush, but I'm not gonna take that chances, guys. Just gonna be using... Okay, maybe I might just mix it a little bit, you know? Maybe just take a tiny bit and mix it in together. Guys, this is the thing with challenge videos. If at the end of this, this actually works, this actually looks good, I will not be doing this again because it takes time. Like I'm putting contour for how many hours? Like it just takes time and it's like, ouch, is this really a hack? Because when you talk about makeup hacks, when you talk about hacks in general, what are hacks? Hacks is basically something that will make the process easier for you. So if the process is even more 
hectic and it takes more time i don't think that's a hack like it, it just isn't a hack because a hack is supposed to make your life easier it's supposed to be a short cut but this is not looking like a short cut to me although it's not looking bad but ah it just takes so much time and time is money guys like nobody got time let's control the nose guys i feel like this nails i did is a hindrance to this makeup look but i'm still trying to work with it and hope for the best but it's it's kind of messing it up a bit for me because i'm the finger nails like nails are touching the brows and the brows are staining my face but i'm um, trying to clean it and work with it okay 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 but my hands my hands my hands my hands with my hands my hands my hands my hands let's do some let's do some let's do some my shadow oh 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 hey okay i'm feeling this i'm feeling this i'm feeling this i'm gonna go in with i'm, I'm gonna go in with the brown eye shadow guys and i'm gonna use the board of this shade i'm gonna apply it on my crease all my crease <laughs> are you guys feeling my job if you guys like you can laugh at me in the comments because i have such a horrible voice but ah, i'm still gonna sing regardless you know you don't always have to have a good voice to sing you know that right it's like there are people that don't know how to dance but they still dance so just because you don't know how to sing doesn't mean you shouldn't sing like it's just clear like obviously so guys the thing with eyeshadow is that when I used to do eyeshadow back then, I used to use my hands to do my eyeshadow because I didn't have brushes like I said, so I used to use my hands. But the thing is that when I used to use my hand, I didn't use matte eyeshadow. Obviously, I used shimmer shadows. Those were the ones that were available then for me. So I used to use shimmer eyeshadow shades. So shimmer, obviously, you can use your hand. It's not a new thing. Like I still use shape my hands to apply my shimmer eyeshadow. But matte eyeshadow was something I didn't have then, and I obviously didn't use my hands to apply it. But this is not the most blended eyeshadow, but it's still showing up and it's all right. So I think we can work with that. I really do not want to have fallout guys i don't want to have fallout because if i end up getting fallout how am i going to dust it off obviously i can't use my hands to dust off fallout and you have to dust off fallout with brush and we can't use brush so oh that would be hectic to deal with so yeah you see what i'm talking about now this eyeshadow has stained my face again because of my nails oh so let's take that out just dusting it off i'm just gonna go into my mood beauty pro one palette and i'm gonna go into my favorite shade from the palette which is this gold shade right here and i'm just gonna apply that on my lid i'm gonna go into my black gel liner this is from glam girls cosmetic and like we did for the brows i'm gonna be using my fingernails <laughs> the way i just did this like the way i'm just saying it so confidently like i'm going to be able to execute it it's quite funny but i'm still gonna try i feel like this might be easy but it's still going to look sloppy oh not bad after all okay let's do the bottom bottoms up bottoms up <laughs> gonna go on to complete the face so what is left is blush so i'm gonna be using this two orange shade for my mood beauty palette these are so beautiful on the face like it's always so good so i'm just going to apply this as my blush this shouldn't be that bad orange blush just does it for me like 
it always looks so good you can never go wrong with orange blush i tell you this is not actually blush this is eyeshadow but you know me i don't always follow the rules i look at colors and colors what i use on my face i don't care if they said it's blush or it's eyeshadow as far as it's the color i want i'm gonna use it regardless how am i gonna blend this blush i have no idea but i'm still gonna go with the flow right next up i'm just going to go in with my finishing powder i'm gonna be using this shade this is my skin tone shade and i'm just going to apply it on my face with my fingers like i'm just doing this like a, a regular makeup tutorial like i know the outcome of this i know what's what's gonna happen i have no freaking idea just go in with the flow next up is highlighter this is no challenge to me because i use my fingers to do my highlighter sometimes and you know what shade i'm gonna be using when i'm using this shade from the mood beauty palette this is my absolute favorite shade for highlights for eyeshadow it's just when this shade gets finished i don't know what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna have to buy another eyeshadow another mood beauty eyeshadow just to get this shade because oh this shade looks really good like i use it a glow I love using it on my nose a whole lot. It always looks so bomb on the nose. Like, oh. Just change the whole look. You can't deny it. Like, you can't, you can't deny it. You can't deny it. Like, look at the material, guys. Like, last but not the least, lip, lip what? Lipstick or lip products or lip something so normally i like to use eyeshadow to apply my lip liner so this is not far fetched for me i use my fingers to apply it on a normal day so yeah nothing nothing changes so just go into brown eyeshadow and just apply it at outer corners of my, of my lips i'm gonna go into this white the white the white shade here I'm gonna apply that needle guys i'm too lazy to find my lipstick that's why i'm using a shadow this is what i don't know more day so then maybe add lip gloss just to spice it up oh, oops i'm supposed to use my hands oh oh okay i forgot okay guys um that brings us to the end of this video it's about to rain now the last thing i want is for this rain to be making noise while this video is on this is a final look and what i'm gonna say is this so i think it's safe to say that i am an expert when it comes to this shit because all the challenges i keep killing it back to back back to back back to back even though in the beginning i'll be skeptical like i don't think this will work but it still kind of works so guys look at my face this is face done completely with my hands no brushes just hands and look at how good it looks guys look at how good it looks it's not my best work granted yes but damn it looks good for fingers like i use my fingers to do this like look at the brows guys look at the eyeliner look at the eyeshadow like this looks really good and i'm really proud of myself because i did that i did that so guys thank you so much for watching if you guys want to see me outside of youtube you can check me out on instagram twitter facebook tiktok pinterest all matilda Duku. and if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel it would really mean a lot if you subscribe and it's also beneficial to you because if you subscribe youtube is going to send you a notification that i just uploaded so you wouldn't miss any upload from me if you guys have any video ideas please leave it in the comments below i'm looking forward to seeing all your comments about what video you guys want to see from me in 2021 before i post my next video you should probably catch up on my previous videos which i'm going to leave here for you to watch so that you just have to binge watch my videos and you won't have to miss anything yeah thank you guys so much for watching i'm gonna see you in my next video bye